Did you know that 60 years ago today, the Wallace and Ladmo show had its premiere episode right here on Channel 5? No fooling, right? No April Fools. And in its day, it was the longest running daily program in television history. CBS 5's Jason Kata caught up with some of the cast members and joins us live with more. Jason? Yeah, seen the uh, show ran for more than 35 years from 1954 until the end of 1989. There are a lot of folks who still today know us here at Channel 5 as the home of the Wallace and Ladmo show. Before his tenure with the Wallace and Ladmo show, veteran Valley broadcaster Pat McMahon was a newscaster and weatherman for Channel 5. Admittedly, he found Wallace and Ladmo more entertaining and would always hang around the studio to watch them. And one day Wallace said, oh my goodness, I have inadvertently written a three-person bit and there's only two of us, Ladmo and me. Pat, will you help us out? And I wound up helping him out for 30 years. As you know, I'm very, very wealthy. McMahon was best known for his role as the spoiled rich kid, Gerald. But Gerald got to say all the stuff nobody ever got to say on the air, particularly in those days. Sharon Kelly worked behind the scenes as the show's director. It's incredible because people are still talking about the show. It's been off the air since 1989. So why is the show still so well known today? Kelly says Steven Spielberg summed it up best. He said it was a Saturday Night Live before Saturday Night Live. It was a second city before second city. Whether it was interacting with Muhammad Ali or Steven Spielberg, McMahon says there were many highlights over the years, but nothing replaced the feeling of making people laugh. To me, the highlight of the entire thing was the idea that I got a chance to make kids laugh for all that time with two of the most creative and inventive people I've ever known. The Wallace and Land Show will live forever. Well, McMahon invites everyone to watch reruns on video or the internet, and he dares you not to laugh. So not only uh, is Gerald rich and spoiled, but he's also confident, and I like that. Back to you. <laughs> Still to